Hello everybody, my name is Gravana and welcome to another episode of Skyrim's Hidden Treasures. Can't believe the uh, the phenomenal support this this um, series gets, it's insane. But anyways, we're going to be doing another location and this one sounds really interesting. It's going to be Iron Bind Barrow. There we go, we just discovered it. Um, uh oh. We should be in there. We must gather our strength. Who knows what's inside? Treasure, that's what. Get off your scaly rump and let's go. Hush, Salma. We aren't alone. Wow, so, so far so good. We have actually two unique people that we, I'm assuming, can uh, talk to with some unique dialogue. So let's talk to... Strength in numbers. Beamjaw. Perhaps between us. Speak with Miss Salma if you wish to speak. Ugh, okay. I don't care what Beam says. It's high time we get in there and find our fortune. What do you expect to find inside? Gold, silver, gems maybe? Only one way to find out. What's going on? I don't care what Beam says. It's high time we get in there and find our fortune. I don't know about you, but I'm going in there. Not without us you aren't. I'm sure there's enough for everyone after all. Come on, Beamja. We're going. You can't shake us off that easily. Let's see what's here. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. We have like our little party that we're gonna go through this dungeon with. Let's just take a look outside just to make sure we don't miss anything. And uh, I'll show you guys the location of this place in case you want to go yourselves. And someone recommended this and apparently there is a unique weapon inside. So this is definitely a location that I wanted to visit. We got a chest up here. Nothing much inside. And uh, that looks like about it for the exterior. So let's head on over to the entrance of this dungeon and take a look where this uh, place is situated on the map. So there it is, Ironbind Barrow, located... Here's, Don here's Dawnstar, so this is where it is located in location, in uh, reference to that location. So there we go, if you want to come there and check this out for yourself. So let's head on inside. I don't know what's going to be in here, other than uh, this apparently unique weapon that allows you to put three enchantments, I think someone was saying, in the comment section, which is very interesting. Because I think the uh, maximum enchantment perk you can get, the last enchantment perk you can get, lets you put uh, two enchantments on something. So something that can have three is obviously pretty damn good. Alright, so I'm going to pretty much do this in sneak mode. Spider right off the bat. Gross. You know what, screw Steam Mode, let's just go in there Leroy Jenkins style. Over here. Over here. Over here or where where uh, okay, over here? Yeah. Spider dead already? Seems so. So it looks to be a glacial cave filled with spiders. Oh, that's not good. What was that? Well, that was a waste of a shout. Alright, guys, let's continue on into Iron Bind Barrow. Ooh, this looks good. This is it. We found Gathric's tomb. Gathric's tomb, huh? Wow, you know, one thing that is just always amazes me. Look around. One thing that always ma amazes me about Skyrim is like all these locations that aren't even tied to quests, and that's the whole point of the series. Um, you know, this isn't even a quest. I've never heard about this until, you know, doing it right now. So that's that's just something that's amazing as far as video games go. Okay, what do we got in here? Wow, grand black soul gem. That's good. Some gold. And uh, we're looking for a way to open this gate, I would assume, and that would be this handle right here. Okay, let's do it. Uh oh. Got some Draugr Death Lords. No problem. Alrighty, let's loot these arrows. See if we're missing anything in here. Uh, doesn't seem to look that way. Got another chest in here. 
And there's a pit down there. Uh oh. Looks sounds like they're fighting. Let's go see what let's go see what's up with them. Just a regular battle axe, okay. Alright, we got another chest. A lot of chests in this place. Which might be good for you guys, but for me, chests are boring. Huh? At this point in the game. Never should have come here. Okay, didn't even have to fight him. There's some more Draugr behind this door. Huh, nice little short off. Alright, so far so good. These guys are proven to be worthy allies, I guess. Let's go find that enchanted weapon, shall we? So I believe this is under the pit. Yep, and there's a full chain here. We'll open that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Beamjaw, come on. Let's go. Dwarven Helmet of Eminent Conjuring. So I guess that's not the uh, unique thing yet. That does not sound unique. Looks like we have to actually move this. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wow. Spikes of death. Didn't see that one coming. Did we actually loot that? If so, I do not want that in my inventory. So let's drop that really quick. Mm, goodbye. That was an intense puzzle, wasn't it, guys? You had to uh, use your ingenuity to figure out that you have to lift the helmet off of the pedestal. This is it. Gathric awaits us. Gathric awaits us. So it sounds like. Get the treasure here and go. Yeah. So it sounds like we have about a boss battle ahead. Might be right here. This looks like a boss room, doesn't it? I think I can see the the uh, unique weapon over there in the distance. So we got a unique enemy, Warlord Gathric, which is cool. Um, so let's take care of these stupid skeletons. It's a nice hood you got here, though. take uh, stock of what we got going on in the battlefield here. Ooh, a word wall. Nice. Okay, let's get this stuff. Okay, now let's take care of Gothric, shall we? wonder if this Solterre shout will kill us. Yep. Very good. What did he have? A couple of black soul gems, some gold, a spell tome, which I think we've probably already read, but just in case... No, we haven't. Awesome. So we got the reanimate corpse spell. I should thank you. I knew the girl wouldn't be strong enough to help me kill Gathric alone. There's just one more thing I need from you. To fully uh -oh. absorb Gathric's power, I require a blood sacrifice. Your blood should be good enough. This will go easier for us both if you don't bother fighting back. Okay, so classic tale of betrayal. This uh, this guy Beamja is turned against us, but he dies to one arrow. Let's see what he has: a skill book, a letter, circle of circle of eminent destruction. Okay, um, let's see how this girl reacts. Yeah. Father never trusted Beam. I always thought he was just being overprotective. Don't you want your treasure, riches and all that? Look, I never needed treasure. My father owns land. Our family is wealthy. I just wanted adventure. Not this. Go on without me. I think I need to be alone for a while. Not like this. Wow, so pretty interesting. Pretty interesting location. Probably one of the best I've done on this series. Father, um, do you have anything me. more to say? I always thought he was just being overprotective. Yeah. Okay, so we looted... Um, we looted Gothric. Let's take a look. I believe I've got a uh, a skill book and also let's read the skill book first of all, even though I've probably read it already. Wow, no, cool, awesome. And uh, let's read that letter to Beamjaw just to see what this is. This has going on. Beamjaw, keep my daughter safe, and you'll earn both your freedom and that damned book you wanted so badly. But by the divines, if any harm comes to her, I'll make sure everyone I do business with will hear about what you did in Black Marsh. Uh oh, so apparently this guy has a uh, some weird mystery, mis mysterious past. I mean, which would explain why he's a douchebag and why he turned on us. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and search this chest, even though I believe I already did, just to make sure we didn't miss anything. And also, let's get this word. Bind become eth ethereal. Very cool. There's a throne here. I guess they just like watching the word wall. Um, and steel battle axe of fiery souls. This is just the dwarven shield. Why did I? It's not like holding the item when I hold A on it for some reason. Let's drop that. Goodbye. And this seems like what we wanted. Steel battle steel battle axe of fiery souls. Let's take a look at that. If target dies within 5 seconds, fills the soul gem, burns the target for 10 points, targets on fire take extra damage. Huh, so I'm not really sure if that's unique. Fiery Souls does sound like a unique line of text there. Um, but it just has basically a soul trap and a fire uh, enchantment. Oops, I hit the mic there. So yeah, so not bad. I'm going to keep it just in case it is unique. And uh, that looks like that's going to be it for this location. This looks like the exit. Uh, let's just make sure we have everything for Beam Jaw. Yep. Okay. Let's go up this uh, spiral staircase here, which will probably lead us to the exit as per usual in, uh, in Skyrim dungeons. I hear wind outside, so this might lead to... Okay, yeah, so it leads to an overlook, which will allow us to just fast travel to other locations. Alrighty. We got one more chest. And that looks to be it. We are treated to like an overlook of uh, basically just a snowy mountain. And uh, this looks like a little pass though. I'm gonna s a path, I mean. I'm gonna see if uh, you can actually get to the top of here, which you most likely can. Just in case anything's left in this location that I don't want to miss. Huh, actually, that seems to be it. Okay, guys, that was Iron Bind Barrow, I believe was the name of it. Let's just take, let's just double check to make sure. Iron Bind Barrow, yeah, very cool location. If you guys want to check that out, you can uh, look back where the location was and uh, go there for yourself. So thanks for watching. My name is Grovana, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Scaring Hidden Treasures. Goodbye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.